In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a bar chart in APA style in Google Sheets. So here we have our Google Sheet, and here you can see there's two different ways to present your data. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use this way where each condition is a separate column, but you could do it as rows to uh, does it really matter? So I'm going to highlight my labels and my means. And I'm going to go to insert. And I'm going to go to chart. And in the past, it's always given me a default of a bar chart, but for some reason it's not. So I'm going to go ahead and change that up here. So I had, when I had to scroll all the way up to setup, go to column chart. And then I also want to go down here and see where it's, um, so I'm still in setup, switch rows and columns, and I want them to be a different color. Now really for APA, you, your graph shouldn't really have any color, but we need them to look like this in order to be able to do our error bars in Google Sheets. In Excel, it's much easier, so I do recommend doing it in Excel. Um, every student should have access to Excel. So I'm gonna go up here, and I'm gonna delete this title. So I just highlighted it. And I'm going to click, my backspace didn't work all, all at once, so I'm going to click that. Then I'm in custom, it automatically went to customize when I did that. Then I'm going to go over here. To my vertical axis. And I'm going to say show axis line. And then I'm going to go to my horizontal axis. And I want to get rid of these little lines here. So I have to go down here to grid lines and ticks. I'm going to click on my horizontal axis. We have the major ticks clicked. And then I want to make the lines white. And we're going to go up to our chart style. And we're going to chart border. We go to chart border and we click white. And here, now that I've high, so I'm gonna go out here, I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna highlight, I'm gonna click on those lines. When I get to that, here's where it gives me grid line color. And this is where if I go up to white, those grid lines will disappear. So again, I'm going to undo that real quick. I'm going to show you if I click on those lines. It takes me to this major grid line, which I couldn't see before. Go to Auto, and they disappear. So now I have my y-axis, or sorry, my x-axis, I have my y-axis. Um, I want to change what my vertical axis name is. I don't want it to say me, I want it to say condition. Oops. So that was my vertical condition. My vertical axis, I want it to say number of words, recall, whatever your DP, DV is. Then my horizontal axis, I want it to say Series and titles, horizontal axis, conditions. And this, to, in order to get rid of that, to make it white, see I just did that, I changed my text color. It disappears, so we don't need to say that. We want it, we want it to say conditions down here. Really what you want is you want it to say rock um, so we're going to move this legend down here. If I click on it, it'll let me move it. Because um, really you want your labels underneath your bars. Now I want to add my error bars. So to do that, I'm going to click on one of them, see how it's just highlighting the blue, just highlighting the rock condition. I go down here to error bars. 
I want a constant. And then I'm just going to enter in whatever that constant is, 1.2. Okay, then I'm going to go over here to classical, error bars. This one is 0.8. And I'll click on the last one, which is white noise, 1.3, air bars, constant. Okay, so now I'm going to copy this, control C. Control paste into my Word document. Might need to modify where it's going to go. If I do tight, then I can move it because I also need to add or add a Figure number, you want it to all be left justified with a one inch margin. Um, no period here. In bold. And then below it, A very descriptive title. The title should not be in bold. It should be in italics. And here you have your APA formatted table. The only thing is that this should not really be in color and you do have your labels here underneath so that is fine. Um, you could change this to grayscale if you really wanted it to be a true APA formatted table.